before I, I go, can you please take me from a general place to a really good specific place? The way you do it, the way when you when you do a rampage, that's really all. I want to feel. It's been it's been a year. I've been following since like two like three years. But this is my first seminar, and all I wanted was to feel goosebumps in my. That's that's all I wanted, and I, and I haven't been feeling goosebumps in this year. And I and I'm Abraham. I am ready. <laughs> So this is a really important and poignant request because what you're saying to us is I like the general I feel relief in the general Abraham you gave me relief just now as I listened to you I feel relieved but I would like the momentum to be faster I want it to be more than relief I want energy to really flow on this topic and sometimes we don't accommodate that request because sometimes the power of desire doesn't support it and the readiness for the vibration doesn't and the rule of thumb is goose up your desire when you're open and ready but if you goose up your desire when you're not open and ready then relief would go away and stress would take the place but since we know for sure that that's not going to happen here then we're going to play your silly game so you tell us the general place where you are we will take your vibrational temperature and make sure that what you think is right and if it isn't we'll help you tweak it into place and then off we'll go all right so you tell us your general sense of satisfaction and well-being where are you i exist i'm here um in this room right here right now now later right now all is well right now in this moment only in this chair things are good and not only is right now everything working out for me i created the scenario that got me right here and the odds were not that good <laughs> and so the, the first thing i heard when i get into this room was there's a thousand people and i'm like mm -mm, that's not happening today what you just said to us is that the power of your desire overrode your belief <laughs> which also means your beliefs while they hinder you and torture you and give you some negative emotion the desire is a powerful factor and you've got that going on so since I created this scenario against these odds I know for sure that I can accomplish anything that I want and this is something that I didn't just pick up along my physical trail I can believe in my core that I was born to do this I have sensed from the time that I was little that I am an influencer in this world getting the goosebumps yet the half the crowd is I have known from the time that I was little that I have come into this physical experience with a very strong purpose purpose to uplift the purpose to connect to this powerful energy that creates worlds and radiate it in a way that influences others to this alignment and so this powerful future you might call it experience that I've set out there I've been all over it for quite some time and so is my inner being and that has made me extremely sensitive to vibration because when I allow myself to catch a glimpse of that and get on the trail of that I go from zero to 88 really really fast <laughs> I get there really 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 fast in other words in fact sometimes people have accused me of being all or nothing or being a little bit manic depressive or being a little bit bipolar because when I soar I really soar and when I'm not soaring I don't like it one bit and those around me sort of feel that for me but what that's saying to me is that the power of my desire has always been in place so there's a whole lot of momentum that has been underway for a long time and now I can feel myself not just on the brink of something here because there have been lots of brinks that I've broken through but I can feel that the way this has been playing out for me has been playing out for me it's not been playing out against me it's playing out for me 
the things that are happening in my life experience are accentuating the power of my desire which is my greatest point of attraction if I don't have desire I don't have anything I've launched these desires since before I was even aware consciously that this is what I wanted to do my inner being's been all over it and has been guiding me along the way to things that felt like that until I've honed out of my physical experience this expectation of being an actor that makes the world a better place I know that that was what I was born to be I've come to play uplifting roles to help people find things within themselves that they might not find I know that a picture is worth a thousand words and I know that this modality this movie is worth many more than a thousand words I know that this is my path of most influence I know that it is I was born to do this I was born to do this I know that I was born to do this and nothing less than this will happen and I am in a position where I have plenty of opportunity to just relax and allow the unfolding of it so that I can do what I was born to do born to do it born for every step of this born for the bounce born for the bounce born for things not always going my way born for things not always going my way but born for the intentions that were set into motion before I even came into this physical body and I know for sure that the outcome of this the continuing outcome of this is going to be pleasing to me and these big dreams are worth waiting for I'm not waiting for the vibrational reality of it is I'm tuned into that this is evidence of that here today I came to this gathering with a strong powerful desire in my heart put myself in a position by applying what I'd learned even while I was sitting in the chair and the universe responded to me so quickly in order to let me know that I can be or do or have whatever I want and I can be it or do or have it whenever I want it I just got to practice a little bit <laughs> and Esther wants you to know is there anything that you need from her call her You like that manifested applause? <laughs> Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice?